All right, so I went to the roadmap and I wanted to see, I wanted to peep it out. I wanted to get a little bit more information. They're they're very close to completing it, according to them. I wish they broke it down a little bit differently than what I'm seeing here. Seven to nine tasks complete. I you know. I, I wish there was something different there, other than you know, like maybe date it. Like if I could push into the seven of nine and then like see more detail in it. You know, if you guys are redoing it, Cloud Imperium, something like that with some dates on when things were completed, what the goals are, what the objectives are, something in there that's like more detailed regarding the programming team and what they're doing. I know. I know. I'm asking for a lot. I know. It's, it's good enough that we got this, right? No. <laughs> no, no. I'm just teasing. Um, so it says thruster efficiency curves will drastically. It says, it's basically saying the same thing. Uh, th that... That was stated in in the uh, roadmap roundup. Oh, Jedi, welcome to the fam, dude. Welcome to the fam, man. Thanks for pushing that uh, follow button. So anyhow, I'm looking forward to that because I've been talking about how I want the flight experience improved. I think atmospheric flight in weather uh, with different gravities on different planets and moons are very important to the game. Uh, even flight out in space. Like, I, I, I mean, like, really? I think the flight experience even out in space needs to kind of be tweaked a little bit, you know, for combat purposes. I think they're going to change uh, thrust and speed um, protocols as well. I read something about how they're going to kind of change that in, in terms of combat as well. So hopefully that helps out. And then this was great because this is something that they're going to apply uh, the building blocks kind of technology that they're using with the unification system, the friends unification system, and uh, this new wallet-to-wallet -wallet transactions that I'm really digging, you know, they're going to apply it towards a lot of the the ship HUD rework. Uh, so they're going to rebuild uh, ship HUDs to use the new building blocks UI system ahead of further re redesigning the look of the UI, uh, easier navigating of HUDs, uh, the MFDs as well, and so that that'll be nice. That'll be nice. So. It'll be much more ease of use. You know, a lot of the, the uh, upgrades that we saw on the elevator systems and the panels there are probably going to be used on the HUDs and MFDs as well. So that is something I am also looking forward to. And uh, it looks like 3.10 is when they plan on releasing it. So I, I think that's going to be a huge, huge positive for gameplay. I really do. I really think that like the, anytime they can put the simplicity into the game when it comes to tasks like these, I think that's that's a huge positive. Like the friends unification system is is amazing. It's so simplistic. It's so easy to use to to invite people and and uh, add them to a party, uh, to add them to your list, and how it goes through uh, to your account to Spectrum is brilliant. So anytime they can add that simplicity factor. Uh, I think that's going to be positive for the game as well. Uh, we already know, like with wallet to wallet transactions, uh, with with the introduction of salvage, which is the next thing we're going to watch. And I haven't really even gotten to see what what what's going to be in the cards for salvage. So I'm really excited uh, to look at this video that I get to see um, last Friday, which we're going to watch together. It's like 18 minutes talking about salvage. I'm very, very curious to see what they're going to say about that. Uh, but but with all these kind of like updates happening like this in succession, uh, it's hugely positive for the game. And it's 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 much more than I thought was stacked in the deck. If you had asked me like a month and a half ago, like a month and a half ago, I was starting to get a little bleak. I was starting to get a little negative. I was like, ugh. but like with everything happening the way that it is, uh, I feel like we're back on track and the engine's running again. So especially with those sales numbers we went over. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this rework. I'm really lo looking forward to seeing the flight experience rework. Um, here's here's what I read here. The high speed combat looks like they're going to be changing the, the ways in which the maximum velocity uh, velocity results and restrictions of some player options in the cockpit, creating a vulnerability that will push players into engagement at lower speeds. Uh, we already saw this with the thruster limitations put on us last year. Uh, we already saw some of the limitations that that, that so like the, the, the PVP was slowed down a little bit. Mm, still needs, still needs tweaked. And I think this is the tweak. I think this is the tweak that is going to be like version two. 
you know, of PvP combat. This body dragging, I'm also looking forward to in 3.10. Like, you know, this is going to be great for medics, and I think it will have some type of uh, playability factor for bounty hunters as well as they, as we saw the new weapons on the Inside Star Citizen review last Friday. We saw the new Tesla-type rifle and pistol that stuns and incapacitates both NPC and and players so the body dragging will will complement that for bounty hunters as well as medics so i'm really looking forward to that 25 of 27 tasks complete you know a lot of these are also very close to completion which is nice uh new targeting methodology that's interesting um i'm gonna reserve criticisms or praise until i actually test it in game for that um, the elevator panel updates. So all the elevators will now have the, the, the nice UI that we've seen at, uh, uh, uh microtech at new Babbage. So we're going to see that in all the elevators, hopefully is what they mean by that. And Lorville, you know, uh, on stations, um, that'll be nice. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to all these, these updates that I see on the map here, law system version two surrender. So that's 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 cool. I'm not quite sure exactly how that's going to turn out. So that should be interesting to play that for you guys to see like how those mechanics work uh, in, in terms of seeing people being like surrendering. Like does that incapacitate you? This might feed into the Cutlass Blue and the pods and, and the way we uh, looked through the ship. And we said no self-respecting criminal or pirate is going to literally push enter to get into the pods. So perhaps the surrender system plays into the fact of getting actual player characters into the pods. That'll be interesting to see. Three of six tasks complete. This might be something a little bit more difficult. If anything, I'm wondering if this would be pushed over to 3.11. I don't I'm not quite sure this seems like uh, an interesting uh, addition to the law system. Now we've got we've got the law system version 1.0 with the fine terminals with Clesher, uh, and now we're going into like the version two. So I'm very uh, excited to see what that's going to be about. Um, and then we've got the restricted area rework. Uh, so like all restricted areas are going to be like modified to give you a better experience, essentially. Um, so we should see that coming in 3.10 as well. That's eight of 12 tasks complete. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited for 3.10. I think it's going to be uh, a nice polish on 3.9 because 3.9 was scaring me. I got to admit 3.9 was scaring me quite a bit.